This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends. I hope everyone is doing super dandy today because for today's video, video, we <laughs> We're finally making underwear. If you guys have watched my videos in the past, you might have heard me once or twice say, I need underwear. I really need underwear, and I don't want to underwear shop. For my solution, we're gonna make some underwear today. And I found two free patterns online. I found one from Cool Stitches, and I also found one from Paper Theory. They are linked down below. We're gonna try them both out, and we're gonna have fun with this, just because I feel like your underwear. The underwear you wear is very personal. You can be very freaky with it, you can be very sexy with it, or you could be like me and wear underwear with hedgehogs on it. So now you can see why I'm, I'm very excited, because I wanna make some really fun underwear today that just I enjoy. We are gonna be using some elastic today. So for these underwears, I'm gonna try a few different methods of how we attach the elastic. The elastic. I have like this decorative one. I have one that just folds over, nice clean one. And we also got some basic boring elastic. But today, overall, is just gonna be an experiment of which underwear style, which type of undies I like. So I have my patterns all cut out now. The paper theory one is more like a traditional underwear and the peachy one is definitely more cheeky. And we're gonna see which style I like the best. So for the fabric for my underwear, I chose three different kinds. So the first one I chose was a cotton with a little bit of spandex in it, so it was nice and soft and stretchy. The second one I chose was a bamboo fabric, which is even softer and very stretchy. And then the last one I chose was a spandex, which is great for seamless underwear. And for cutting this fabric, most underwear, you can tell it's pretty delicate. So you want to use rotary cutters. You can use scissors if you don't have rotary cutters, but just beware, it might be a little bit more difficult. So we're just going to take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I personally started using Squarespace back in college when I started my business and since then I have been using it. At first my website just listed all the services I offered but then as it grew I was able to add an e-commerce store and also a blog. It is super easy to create a professional website with Squarespace so if you guys want to try out Squarespace or get a domain I do have a coupon code for you guys where you guys can get 10% off. All you have to do is use my coupon code Jenna Phipps and you guys will get 10% off your domain or website. So now we have our pieces. I got my gussets, which are um, the crotch part. I got the booty and I got the front. The way I put them together should be the exact same. They're just a different style cut. Once I figure it out one time, I should be good to go. But there's a little bit of like this confusing thing with the gusset because one has to be sewn like this, one's on the outside, and then there's like no seam because obviously you don't want to seam in your crotch. I'm gonna have to try to follow the instructions that came with this just because I have never, never sewed panties before. Also, if you're curious what needles I'm using, these ones. Bam bam, turkey chicken. She's looking good so far, she's really looking good. But now, this is the confusing part because now we gotta do a little bit of um, folding magic, if we wanna call it that. So apparently, this little croissant fold here is supposed to get rid of any seams in the crotch area. It worked! No seam! So the next step, unfortunately, is where I try on the underwear, I have it on top of my other underwear, and now I need to measure how much elastic I need for each hole, I guess, so the hole for my waist and one hole for each leg. We're measuring, we're measuring, so this long. Now for each leg opening. This is kind of weird because you're like measuring it like around like my leg and my hip. Let's try this out. But first I gotta put my pants back on. So now I'm just gonna turn all these strings into little circles. So just sewing the edges together. So now that they're all, you know, in circles now, I can pin them to my under, which I already started here. And I'm just evenly putting it around because elastic is smaller than the underwear, so it's not gonna like align 
perfectly. You're gonna have to stretch it to fit. And I'm just doing it at the four corners. Looking good. So I'm starting off with the decorative elastic and sewing this one is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is put right sides together when you sewed it into a circle. You sew it on the outside with the zigzag stitch and then once you're done that, you flip it over and then you do another zigzag on top and then that's how you finish it. Okay, okay. Looks pretty good so far. They look kind of professional. Kind of. Not, not like real professional. They look pretty good. So I'm gonna attach the leggies now, and then we can try her on to see if she, she fits. <laughs> I made my first pair of underwear, and I'm so proud of myself, but unfortunately, I need more than one pair of underwear, and this one probably took me about three hours to make. It shouldn't take three hours to make, it's just because I was figuring it out, and it took me a while. So tomorrow, I'm gonna try to make more a lot quicker because I don't I hope they don't take three hours each one But I'm happy with her. I'm really happy with my first pair. So before we get started today I have a little bit of an announce announcement. I Woke up this morning With a big line on my face I don't know when it's going away, so we're just gonna film with me and a line on my face. So I realized yesterday, because I only got one pair of underwear done, I didn't get to try out the other pattern. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing it does have a little bit more cheek, not, not cheekiness to it, and it's a little bit more full coverage, so I think I'm gonna cut it a little bit. Better, I like that better. So for these underwear, they're the exact same. We're doing the magic flip, which most patterns come with that little tutorial of how to do that flip. But I also watched videos on YouTube on how to do it. That's where I learned. So to make this pair of underwear, it's, it's the exact same as the last pair we made. It's the same thing. We're doing a magic flip and we're sewing it. We're trying out a different elastic. This elastic is a fold over one, so it just folds over the edge. So this one, it definitely is a lot quicker because you just fold it over the edge and then you're like one and done with your seam. You just sew it once. So making this pair of underwear was way faster. Way faster than this one. Like I mentioned, this one took three hours. This one probably took 15 minutes. Like it's so quick, but here's my second pair. Aren't they beautiful? But I kind of want to try them on and see how they fit. Just, just, you know. I'm excited, I'm very excited. Okay, so the pair I just made, the Paper Theory is the one I have on, and this one is definitely more like a boy cut, is that what they're called? Where it's like more coverage, like it's going like on my leg, which is not a bad thing, like it's definitely comfy, it doesn't feel like it's like tight in places or not comfy. Like this is like a good basic undie. And the last pair, the last pattern I made was by Cool Stitches. And this one, definitely my favorite. This one I like the best. It feels nice, which the other one felt nice, but this one is just my preferred pair. Just my preference. Everyone has different preferences when it comes to underwear, and I like this one the best. A Little bit more cheeky, a little bit higher waisted. I just like this one more. Okay, so next underwear I'm gonna make is the Hedgehog. The hedgehog underwear. I'm so excited for this one. I think this will probably be my favorite underwear now after making it and I'm gonna have a few pairs of them. I'm gonna have a few pairs. I think I wanna just do a little test for myself to see how fast I can pump out one of these underwears just because I'm, you know, pretty good with them. I feel like I got the hang of it. So I wanna see how fast it actually takes to make one after you, you, you learn. So, ready? Done my hedgehog undies. It didn't take me 15 minutes, it took me a little bit longer, more like double, which that's not too bad. 32 and a half minutes to make a whole pair of underwear. I'm pretty happy with that. The only way I feel like you could make underwear really fast is if you didn't have 
the elastic because this is what takes majority of the time when I was sewing this is elastic. So if you want to do seamless underwear where you use like spandex and there's no elastic, then you could probably pump it out in like five, 10 minutes. Which I definitely tried after, but unfortunately because this pattern wasn't made for seamless underwear, it wasn't five, 10 minutes. It was pretty much the same amount of time, 30 minutes, and they didn't turn out as nice. Or personally, I don't think so. They're done. They're a lot more trimmed in the front just because they were kind of bunched up a little bit because this is not a pattern for a seamless panty, so I kind of had to alter it, but I did it. It actually was a really easy tutorial to follow too, so I'll link that down below if you want to make any seamless panties, but for the rest of my panties, they're gonna have elastic. Next kind of underwear I'm gonna make is a thong. And it's not a different pattern, I just manipulated the pattern when I cut it out. I took the back piece right here, and then I just traced it, and then I just cut out what I thought a thong shape was. Looks like you cut out a circle, you know? And it looks like this. So this is how my, my thong turned out. There's the back, the booty. And I think it looks great. I haven't tried them on yet to see how they fit or feel, but they look just like my other thong underwear, so I'm really happy with her. She's probably my favorite pair, and all I had to do was just, you know, cut some of the fabric out a little bit. But for my last method, I'm gonna try to use a regular elastic here. This is kind of like the elastic we'll use for the masks and stuff. And we're gonna try to sew it in this green pair again. But I'm using the same measurements as I've been using for all of them. I think you just sew this together. And for this method with the regular elastic, I, I thought it was the same as the other way, but it wasn't. I sewed it completely wrong, so I had to seam rip that whole thing out. Yep, that was fun. But for sewing this one, I ended up having to sew it inside, so inside the underwear, so wrong sides together and then what I did was I flipped it over so like the good side was facing the inside and then I did another zigzag stitch and that was how I was able to get it so it looked like this. And then the last pair of undies I sewed was the same as the paper theory pattern where I had that kind of foldable elastic that goes over the seam there except I did it with the cool stitches pattern which I like a lot more. So this method turned out a lot better the second time around, especially using the black fabric with the black elastic. It just looked a lot better. And I think this pair is probably my favorite out of all of them now. I am so tired. I just realized it's 3.30 in the afternoon now. And I started today at like nine o'clock in the morning. But I made a lot of underwear today. So I can officially say that I am stocked up on underwear. I'm gonna give some to my sister but I wanna go through them, show you all them, and show you the different techniques that I did, tell you which ones are my favorite, which ones I suggest, which ones not really suggest, just show you my underwear collection. So the first style I went for was this decorative elastic, kind of like a very common underwear style, and this is the one I'd probably recommend the most. This is my favorite style. I find it's the most comfiest too, so this is the one that I did for a majority of my underwear. The next style I did was with the paper theory pattern here, and I ended up using a double-sided elastic. It's also really, really soft, but it folds over the edges, so you just have to sew it once around each time, which I think is cute. I don't know if I love it with this specific pattern. I do prefer it with the Cool Stitches one, like this one I made. This was the last one I made. I also made an invisible underwear panty. And this one, it's not the best fit for the cool stitches pattern, so I'm gonna have to look for other patterns out there for invisible undies. But I was able to manipulate the pattern, the cool stitches one, and make a thong. So if you wanna make a thong, you can definitely do that with the cool stitches one. And then the last style, which this one is probably my least favorite, which is using just regular elastic and sewing it inside, where you sew it once and then fold it over. I don't know if it's because I use kind of like a spandex material, but this one just feels like more like swimming bottoms rather than comfy underwear. So this one, not my favorite. It's unfortunately my least favorite, but if I used the decorative elastic, it would have turned out a lot nicer. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed 
watching me make underwear today maybe gave you some motivation to make your own underwear because I bet there's some of you out there that had just have not been buying underwear since the pandemic and you're in desperate need of new underwear like I was. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I'm kinda tired, so I hope you all have a great rest of your day. All the links are down below in the description for all the resources I used. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.